This video is sponsored by ptcglstore.com, a great place for you to buy Pokemon TCG code cards. Please remember to use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so that you can get a 5% discount. Before going into the video, please take a second to click that like button and we're on the road to getting 9,000 subscribers to this channel, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for all of your support and I hope you guys are enjoying the content I put out in this channel. In today's video, I'll be showcasing Goldengo EX from the Paradox Rift expansion set. Goldengo EX is really powerful thanks to its attack Make It Rain. For a single metal energy, you can discard any number of basic energy cards from your hand. And this attack deals 50 damage times the number of cards you discarded this way. With enough energy, this attack pretty much has the potential to one hit knock out any Pokemon in the game. And to help you draw into those energy cards, Goldengo EX also comes with a very nice ability called Coin Bonus. Once during your turn, you may draw one card. However, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you can draw two cards instead. So with four Goldengo EX in play, you can draw four to five cards every turn with its ability. And we're pretty much just relying on Goldengo EX as our main draw support. One weakness to this though is if your opponent plays Path to the Peak Stadium because it will turn off Goldengo EX's ability. This is why I also added a few worker support cards in this deck because it lets you discard the stadium in play and you also draw three cards. And I also have the Pokestop Stadium which you can use to replace Path to the Peak. And when you use this stadium, you can discard 3 cards from the top of your deck. And if any of them are item cards, you put those from the discard pile into your hand. And since Goldengo EX depends on discarding energy cards, Pokestop Stadium is great for finding the item cards that will help you search for or to recover your energies. These item cards include Earthen Vessel. By discarding 1 card from your hand, you can search your deck for up to 2 basic energies and put them into your hand. Next are Superior Energy Retrievals. You have to discard 2 cards from your hand to use this and when you do, you can recover up to 4 basic energy cards from your discard pile and put them into your hand. Next is Super Rod. This will allow you to shuffle up to 3 in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy from your discard pile back to the deck. And while it is not an item card, I also have 1 copy of Clara. You can recover up to 2 Pokemon and or up to 2 basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Relying on just Goldengo EX as your attacker can be too linear though because if your opponent knocks out 3 of them, they will win the game. And also there are Pokemon that can block Goldengo EX's attack like Mimikyu or Eggieslash. So as a secondary attacker, Scyzor is really effective. More for its punishing Scissors attack. For a single metal energy, this attack deals 10 plus damage and an additional 50 more damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon with abilities on them. So this attack can really dish out some serious damage. As for the other cards worth noting, I did use two different gimmick ghouls because one has less retreat cost, but it does have less HP as well. And I'm also using this Scyther as Scyther's pre-evolution since it has zero retreat cost, which is again a great pivot. And since most of our attackers are stage 1s, I also included one copy of the TM Evolution Tool Card. For a single colorless energy, when equipped to your active Pokemon, you can use the Evolution Attack, which lets you choose up to two of your bench Pokemon, and then you can search your deck for a card that evolves from those Pokemon, and basically just evolve them. And when your Pokemon takes in a lot of damage, Cheryl can be very useful because it heals all the damage from all of your Evolution Pokemon. The strategy of this build is really straightforward. You pretty much just try to attack and knock out any Pokemon that gets in your way. So if you want a strong, simple concept in playing the game, this deck is for you. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can find the complete deck list in the description below. And now please enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing Goldengo EX. Alright, let's get right into our first match. We're going to start with two types of Gimme Ghouls. And I think I will start with this one in the active and that one on the bench. And again, having these two types of Gimme Ghouls is great in the deck. This one you can pivot more easily, having only one retreat cost, but it does have lower HP. While the other one can survive a lot more, but it does have two retreat costs. So you just kind of uh, have to choose which one is best. We do have access to Battle VIP Pass, and I think I will just set up another Gimme Ghoul and one Scyther. It's a great pivot, but you do want to set up as much Goldango EX line as much as you can because they're pretty much your main draw engine and it's gonna help you draw into a lot of cards but we also have access to Iono we can you probably use that to uh, shuffle our hand and then draw six other cards but we can also use Arvin to actually get our TM evolution card and use our active to evolve two of our benched Pokemon Meanwhile, my opponent will start with a Manaphy in their active and they also have access to Battle VIP Pass. And we will find out shortly 
what we are going up against. And they have Charmander. This seems to be a Charizard EX matchup. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's their main attacker. They have Artisan that's going to help us actually get another basic Pokemon from our deck into our bench. So, yeah, so this is going to be a Charizard EX matchup. And uh, this is a winnable matchup for sure, because despite the high HP of Charizard EX, we have the potential to one-hit knockout and uh, deal a lot of damage, basically, against their EX Pokemon. And if we can knock out three of those... And Luminion V becomes a target as well. We can win this game and take all of our six prizes. And they will search for an Arvin. And this is a way for them to search for a Forest Seal Stone, maybe attach it to... Yep, sure enough, to Luminion V. They can use their V-Star Power Ability, search for any one card from their deck, and... On their next turn, they can evolve into a Charizard EX. And in terms of prize exchange, as long as we can knock out three of their two prizers, we should be able to win this game. And what's nice about our deck is that we have Sizer as a backup attacker, which only loses, we only lose one prize card if uh, our opponent knocks it out. So it's a really nice... Uh, way to get ahead, get ahead in the price exchange. So my opponent will now use the Forest Seal Stone to search for one card from their deck. But if they're not able to use it, if I chose to, or if I choose to use Iono, I can just shuffle those cards back to the deck. Okay, they're going to use Earthen Vessel to discard the Battle VIP Pass. They could have used that, actually, to search for another basic Pokemon from their deck. But no, they're going to go for the TM Evolution card. And they're going to use Manaphy to use that attack and evolve two of their benched Pokemon. One into Charmeleon. And one into a Barrel. And that will end their turn. Discard that tool card. And now it is our turn. All right. That was a very nice turn for my opponent. Now we can evolve into our Sizers, set up another basic Pokemon on our bench using my opponent's Artisan Stadium card. And let's see here. We're going to go for another Gimme Ghoul. Because most likely they're just going to knock out my active. And... I could use Iono, but that's going to give them more cards. Although they can just use Bibarel to draw. So I'll just use Arvin to get an Ultra Ball and a Technical Machine Evolution card. And then what I could do is just discard this Sizer. And then get two basic Metal Energies from our deck. And then we can use the TM Evolution card. And use Gimme Ghoul to evolve two of our benched Pokemon. Let's go ahead and do that. And I will just evolve two of our Goldengos. And then another one. And that will end our turn again. Our tool card will be discarded. But at least we are... We are golden. <laughs> but yeah, even if my opponent evolves into a Charizard EX. And they knock out our Gimme Ghoul in the active. We can... Then start attacking with our Goldengo EX and get more energies, probably draw into more with Iono, and then we can use our abilities. But my opponent will use Iono themselves, and that will shuffle up our cards in our hand. All right, we drew into our uh, worker that's gonna help us help us to draw. Three extra cards, I guess. And then we can probably use Ultra Ball to evolve into another Goldengo. That's going to be uh, three cards that we can draw into on our next turn. So now they can evolve into their Charizard EX and another Charizard EX. Two of them being able to use their Infernal Rain ability. Which they can search their deck for 
up to three basic fire energies and then attach them to their Pokemon in any way they like. So now they have two attackers all set to go. Manaphy has an energy already. They can easily just retrieve that. They can attack and knock out our Gimme Ghoul. So we have to be very aggressive in our next turn. Uh, we have to try and see if we can get a knockout and be able to get two prizes ahead of our opponent. Okay, Nest Ball for a Radiant Charizard. All right, that's going to be very dangerous too because Goldengo EX is weak against fire. In the late game, they can easily one-hit knock out our Goldengo EX. Although Charizard EX can just build up its attack and just deal a lot of damage. All right, so they knock out our Gimme Ghoul, getting their first prize. And then we're going to do our best to... Uh, I could use Goldengo EX in the active, but then with so many abilities in play, I'm thinking of just using Sizer actually to attack and deal a lot of damage to their Charizard EX and we're only we're not gonna knock it out but we're only losing one other prize card and we're gonna set it up to uh, knock out this Charizard EX with our next Goldengo. So I'm just gonna use Worker to draw three, discard their Stadium and then we drew into another Goldengo EX so now we have three in play. We're just gonna use this level ball to set up another Scyther. Again, it's a great pivot because it has a free retreat. And we're just gonna continue to use our abilities now to search for our energy cards here. So coin bonus while in the bench only allows us to draw one card at a time for each ability that we use for our Goldengo. So we have two basic energies. I can discard that and get two. We have the three left in the deck so um i can attach one to sizer and then we can deal up to 310 damage actually yeah punishing scissors for a single metal energy deals 310 damage to this charizard ex and since uh we haven't taken any prizes charizard ex actually cannot attack more than 180 damage to our Goldengo EX. So they're not knocking out any of our Goldengos, even if they boss them. And Charizard, Radiant Charizard, will not be able to attack quite yet either because it requires five energies. Its ability only allows it to reduce its attack cost for each prize we have already taken. So. It's only going to be useful late game, but not right now. So, the best they can do is knock out this Sizer. And they're only going to get one card, one price card. They got an escape rope. They could use that, but we can pivot into Sizer. And then we can even finish off this Charizard EX with our Sizer here. And... They're just going to go for a knockout then against our Sizer. That's uh, that's fine. So what we could do is attack with Goldengo. Just uh, finish off this Charizard EX. And then I don't think they will be able to deal enough damage to knock out our Goldengo anyway. So let me go ahead and just pivot into our Goldengo EX. We can energize it. And then all we need to do is discard one energy anyways. But for now, we're just going to use our coin bonus abilities. We can draw two while we're in the active. And then one for each Goldengo on our bench. So we can use Superior Energy Retrieval to get more. But for now, I'm going to just recover Gimme Ghoul 1, Sizer, and 2 basic energy cards with Clara. And in this way, we can use Superior Energy Retrieval later on. And let's see here. We go ahead and use coin bonus first before I forget. Another Iono. And one more with this Goldengo. And we got a Super Rod. All right. I think we're in a good position right now. We're just going to use uh, Make It Rain. And I think we only need to discard one energy card to 
knock out this Charizard EX. So let's go ahead and just discard one. And that will knock out this Charizard EX. All right. That's going to get us two prizes. And again, with their lineup of Charizard EX, for each prizes we have taken, that will increase their attack by 30 more damage. So Burning Darkness will now deal, what? 240 so we're still surviving an attack unless they have any attack modifier which nothing will be effective right now we're not a v pokemon so um and we're not they're not behind on prizes so i don't think there's any tool card that can increase their attack damage output anyways and again their radiant charizard will not be able to attack for a single energy just yet because we're not that far ahead in the prizes we've taken so we are in a pretty good position right now. Let's see what my, what my opponent does and then go from there. And again, we have another Sizer just waiting to be used and take a knockout. You're gonna use an Ultra Ball. Probably set up another Charizard line. Yep, there's the Charmander. And what I'm thinking of just trying to do here is basically just... Uh, oh, they're going to use Escape Rope. All right. Let me just uh, pivot into another Goldengo. We have a switch, so we should be, should be okay. You just switch back into our other Goldengo and attack again. But uh, our main goal here for the next turn is be able to get a knockout against this Charizard EX. As long as we can get ahead of the price exchange, we should be okay. They are going to use a Yono though, so we're going to lose all of that resources. And we did get another Goldengo. So we can evolve. We have four Goldengo EX in play. That's really nice. And we can just hopefully draw into the cards that we need. And we also have Pokestop. It's going to help us get our item cards and hopefully get some useful ones to search for and even recover some of our energies that we've already discarded. All right, so my opponent will just attack with their Charizard EX, dealing only 240 damage, not enough to knock out Goldengo. So we are pretty much golden at this point. Going to go ahead and use... Level Ball to get a Manaphy just to thin out my deck a little bit. And let me go ahead and use Ultra Ball. Just get rid of these two, I guess. And get Radiant Greninja. That can actually help us to draw two extra cards. And even if we do discard an energy to draw two, we can use the recovery items to get more energies from our discard pile so since we have escape rope we're gonna use that to switch back into uh, this gold dango and we're gonna use coin bonus so that we can draw two we have Roxanne and a Hisuian heavy ball all right coin bonus for one another one a boss's orders dude Look at that. All we need is a bunch more energies and maybe we can take a knockout. Let's go ahead and discard that. Get two. And at this point, we should be dealing 200 damage. Enough to knock out this Luminian V if we wanted to. But I'm going to take a chance, actually. Go ahead and use concealed cards. We got three. All right, 5, 10, 15. Uh, could use Pokestop. Maybe we can get... just go ahead and set up and get this Luminion V. I mean, I could use Pokestop. I could... I'm pretty sure I can find uh, an item card here to get more energies. So I'm going to use Pokestop. And we got a superior energy retrieval. Let's go ahead and discard these two. We should have enough cards 
Three of them. All right, so we're still safe. Um, let's go ahead and use Make It Rain. We can take a knockout against this Luminion V. And all we need is four. Knock it out. And that's going to get us two prizes. And we're two prizes away from winning this game. All right, so we are looking good. So now my opponent has an option here. They can attack with Charizard EX. They can now deal a knockout blow because uh, we've taken four prizes already. So they're dealing 300 damage, I think, at this point. So they can knock out, get two prizes for our Goldengo EX, and it's we're we're pretty much in a dangerous situation here because if they have boss or boss's orders, they can just knock out the one any one of our Goldengo EX afterwards and then win the game. But uh if they use their Radiant Greninja or Radiant Charizard, they can actually Take a knockout and then the price exchange could be very difficult because we're only taking one price with that Radiant Charizard. So, I mean, I could use Sizer to attack, but again, if they have a boss orders, we could just lose this game. So, uh, Defiance Band will increase their attack, but it's really not necessary because, again, we are weak against fire. And there's the 300 damage. With this Charizard EX, so now we have one thing, one goal for this turn is hope for a knockout against this Charizard EX. Can we get enough energy? We got an Arvin from we got an Arvin from our top deck. So can we find the item cards that we need to get enough energies in our hand to discard and take a knockout against this Charizard EX? So we need to Attach one energy to Goldengo EX, and we need at least seven basic energies in our hand so that we can knock out this Charizard EX. I think that's our only option. We got a Super Rod. We did discard one more energy. Um, I mean, I could use Arvin to get superior energy retrieval, right? It's going to get us four. And then I could use my Goldengo to draw extra cards. Hopefully draw into the cards that I need, the energies. So now we have six. I need two more energies, basically. I can use Super Rod. And with seven cards left in our deck, the probability of drawing into these energies is a little bit higher. So I'm going to go ahead and use Coin Bonus. We just need two energies in our hand. And... I could also use Radiant Greninja as like a last. <laughs> Come on. All right, we got seven, but we needed two. We needed one more. I'm going to take a chance here with concealed cards, man. Dude. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> we got the energies, man. Thanks to Radiant Greninja. So we got exactly what we need. One energy to attach to Goldengo. EX and then make it rain. We discard all of these cards to deal just enough 350 damage to take a knockout against this Charizard EX, getting us our last two prizes. That was a pretty clutch move, man. Really good game. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel, and as always, stay safe and have a great day.